Hey guys, it's me, Gloria. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I've been missing for quite a while. Uh, my last video was way back on September, I think, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. And um, yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't done videos. I've been having people that have been requesting me to do videos and I haven't and I just haven't taken the time to do them and I'm, I want to apologize for that. Uh, I want to start by saying happy holidays. Uh, I just want to say happy holidays to everybody. And I hope that you guys had a really, really good New Year. So I wish, I'm wishing you guys the best this year, 2014. And for all of my TTC years, I just want to wish you guys the best and best of luck to you guys. And I know that this year is going to be our year. And um, I am consider I do consider myself a TTC year again. Now this year, 2014, I will get more into details as we um, go further along the video. Um, but before I hit the subject, I want to talk to you guys about my miscarriage because this um, video is, I think, going to be t entitled Life After Miscarriage. And, um, well, I want to talk to you guys about not only about what's going on with me now, but before my miscarriage, what happened what was being said, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. For those of you guys who don't know my story, I'm just going to give you guys a quick review. Uh, I miscarried back in 2000. This is my second miscarriage. And uh, my first miscarriage was on 2012, um, back in September. And then this second miscarriage was on 2013 and back in September too as well. I got pregnant during the same time, which is weird. But, you know. Yeah, sadly, and then I ended up having a second miscarriage. <laughs> Excuse me, and um, uh, and I'm still going through it. Um, why do I say that? Because, like I told you guys, back in September is when I had my miscarriage for the second time, and um, the first time that I had my miscarriage, I did a DNC, which um, is way different than having, than not having a DNC. And, um, and I will explain why now. Okay, so this second time around, I decided not to do a DNC. And more than that, more than me deciding that I, not to do a DNC, I think it was um, um, decided also by my doctor because he didn't want me to have a DNC because he said that it wasn't necessary. Uh, and I don't know me hearing some things about DNCs and stuff like that. I was kind of skeptical about doing it again, um, thinking that having a normal miscarriage, letting my body do it normally would be better. But boy, that was a big mistake that I think I did. And um, the reason why is because right now we are on January and I'm still going through my miscarriage. Um, on September, like I told you guys, on September I miscarried, and on December the 16th, I got my period for the first time, and, um, but before that, I had gone to the doctor, and it was, I have my calendar here, so, so I could have my notes, so I'm sorry you guys, if I'm going to be looking down on my calendar, but I want to give you guys accurate, um, dates and stuff like this, so on September, on um, the 16th, I started spotting, and it says light blood. See, I do my little notes. Excuse my nails; they're ugly. Okay, so I started spotting, spotting, and I thought that I was pregnant again. And the reason why I thought I was pregnant was because uh, I went to the doc. I um, I started spotting that day, and I went to the doctor and. Um, they have, they had, a call. the reason why I went to the doctor, because after you miscarry, they have to be checking on you, and they have to be doing checkups to, to see if your HCG levels have gone to, to its normal, um, to normal, and, um, so I went to do my blood, I went to, um, draw my blood, and, um, on the, on September, what was it, I don't even remember when it was, but, on um, it was like around the, uh, it was like around the 16, something like that. Um, <clears throat> I got a call from the doctor and they told me that, uh, I was three weeks pregnant and I was like, oh my gosh, I got pregnant. And my parents, they were angry at me. They were kind of mad at me because 
they wanted me to hold on. They really, I think they're more than anything, they're scared of me. They're scared of me going through it again because they not only am I going through it, but they're going through it with me because they're here, they're living here with me, and you know, everything that I take out or everything that anything happens, I tell my parents. So, yeah, but anyways, um. I thought I was pregnant, and I was like, how could this be? I could have swear. I, I thought that I was pregnant using condoms because my husband and I, ever since the miscarriage, we've been very, very extra careful. We've been using condoms. No unprotected sex. We do not you do unprotected sex. And um, that I think that's fetus. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so... That's, that was kind of weird for us. So we were like, well, you know, if it happened, it happened. But I guess that was very weird because we knew for a fact that we were protecting ourselves. Anyways, um, yeah, so I thought we were pregnant. And they called me and told me that I needed to go back till um, December. No, I needed to go back. I needed to wait for three weeks. She went out? Yeah. Just let her ask you. Maybe she needs to go to restroom. Okay. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, I needed to, I needed to go back in three weeks because uh, they wanted to make sure that it wasn't up that because they were kind of sketchy about me being pregnant. They also thought that it could have been that my um, that I hadn't taken everything out from that pregnancy, and that's what I thought I had because I felt I still felt pregnant. But I think the reason was because I was going through the miscarriage still, even though it was like like a month past you know anyways so after that happened um on the what's it i went back to the doctor they did another blood i actually literally have done like a bunch of blood tests i'm going crazy with this blood test but i did another one and my hcg levels went down so i was like yes i knew that i wasn't pregnant i knew that it was my hcg levels and i knew that it was the fact that i still had stuff inside of me but it wasn't as easy uh for me because i was going through pains i was actually going through like i was getting literally uh i was going through like a lot of pain during those days of um after my miscarriage and I hadn't gotten my period. I spotted on the 16, and I thought that it was part of like me, maybe me being pregnant. And and I also at the same time I thought that I was like maybe getting my period. So I was like, oh, it could be, it could not be. I don't know. So um, yeah, I wasn't pregnant, but I I, I was still going through my miscarriage. I hadn't gotten my period, and I was going crazy. I was like, you need to get your period ASAP. And on the 16, I showed up. For the first time I got my period, it was heavy, it was painful, it was disgusting because it wasn't, was, it wasn't only my period, it was like I was throwing tissue out, I was still throwing leftover stuff, it was disgusting. Um, I'm December 16. We are now on January the, the, the 3rd, no, the, the, the 2nd, and I am still throwing, um, stuff, um, New Year's Eve, which was on December the 31st, I threw some tissue with a big black cloth. I was brushing my teeth, and um, and then um, all of a sudden, you know how sometimes when you brush your teeth and like sometimes you get like uh, you get a little like nauseous or something. I don't know. Sometimes you just like you go ugh or something, and you, I guess I guess my body pushed down, and I felt like a little. I felt like something coming going down and I was like whoa what the heck is that when I go to the um what I have I had a pad obviously because I still have my period and then I go to the toilet and when I when I sat on the toilet I felt like I heard something big like going down the toilet I was like oh my gosh what the heck is that I felt it it was disgusting it was just like it felt like my miscarriage all started again it was horrible and then I remembered that um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I remember the doctor told me to save the tissue so he could send it to get test um, and do, to the lab. And I did that. I gra I got a hanger, like those wire hangers, and I pulled it. I took it out. I called my husband first of all, and then I put it in a toilet paper. And I took it was actually it was actually tissue. It was it looked like a veiny tissue, nasty, disgusting thing. 
in with a blood cloth. I got both. In both of those, I put them on the, um, I put them on uh, inside a Ziploc bag. And um, today, which is the sec on the second Thursday, I barely got home from the doctor. That's why I'm dressed up. Otherwise, I would have been all fodonga. But um, yeah, I am. I went to the doctor and I gave them. My, I went to do another blood um, blood test. Which, ouchies! I haven't had the. I don't have the guts to take this out. It hurts so bad. So yeah, well I just got here anyway. So, um, yeah, I went to do that. I um, gave them my results and they put the the tissue and the blood um, cloth and everything. They put it in a bucket and um, they are gonna send it off to the lab. And they made me an appointment for a and from a week from now. So on the ninth, yeah, on the ninth I have my second appointment, which is um on next Thursday, and um. Yeah, I'm gonna know the results, and I just I'm hoping that everything that everything is that everything's gonna go well for me, cause I just wanna honestly. The doctor told me because I've been having lots of pains, and lot, the reason why I say that having a DNC for me, I think having a DNC is way better than just having a normal like having a normal miscarriage and just letting your your just letting your body take everything out. I don't know if it's better for me I don't know I don't know what's the difference but I know that um if I had a second chance to go around I would do a de DNC definitely do a DNC next but um my doctor was telling me that they're not doing those no more not unless you're really really required to have one so that's what that's another reason why I also couldn't do it because the doctor said well you know you're not really required to have them it's up to your insurance blah 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 and yeah so Anyways, here I am right now. I didn't do a DNC for the second time. Um, on Tuesday, on next Thursday, if I still have tissue in me, if I still show high HCG levels, I'm gonna go ahead and they're gonna go ahead and do a DNC on to me because I think it's already been quite a while. It's already been three months and I'm four months and I'm still throwing tissue out, which is kind of bad. My dad's very worried because he has a friend that is. Uh, actual he's an actual he's a um um a doctor as well specialized on um this on what on a uh, fertility and blah blah and um and he's he's telling him that they should have done me a dnc and you know my dad's re really concerned on that and my parents both of them are because you know they want me to be able to be healthy and stuff like that. they just want me to get old i think they just want me to like move on and yeah, that's that story of my miscarriage. It's already been 14 minutes. Wow. I always take forever on my videos, but I want to let you guys catch up on what's going on with me right now. Uh, so that's that. I, I've been I'm doing that. I've been going through that right now. Um, I'm going to do a second video. I just, I was going to do it, everything all in here, but I think I decided I'm going to do how to do it as in a second video. So now, what am I doing about TTCing? I am considering myself a TTCer, but not yet. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean that during these days, my doctor and I, we decided that I'm gonna go under treatment. Um, I'm also gonna go under, part of my treatment is to lose weight. That treatment was supposed, I was supposed to be starting it a while back, but I haven't done it, I still haven't, you know, I don't, I feel like I gained weight, but yeah, I did gain like probably 10 pounds more. And, um, I haven't done, I haven't been dieting. You know, holidays, holidays, you're obviously going to gain weight. So that's me. That's my case. I, I gained some pounds. I gained, you know, yeah, I haven't weighed myself, but I'm assuming by the way my clothing fits and everything that I did gain weight. I know I did gain weight for a fact. Ew, my nose look ugly. So what I'm doing right now is that I'm losing, I'm, I'm going to start my journey with my weight loss journey with you guys. I am going to take, I am going to take my camera to the gym. Um, if I could get it to work because, um, I had a phone, but all, but my phone doesn't work no more. 
the other one that I had and the other one that I will record everything and that's the reason why I haven't posted videos because my camera busted it doesn't work anymore right now I'm using um the, my computer and that's the reason why my videos are gonna look weird and that's the reason why I still have the tree right here that's because I'm doing it on the living room um nobody's here right now everybody went to a funeral so yeah I couldn't go couldn't go because I was um I was I needed to go to the doctor and yeah I had to stay here um so yeah um in details I do want to start talking to you guys about what I'm going to be doing I think I'm going to do that on my next video the one that I'm going to talk about my my negative the negative talks about miscarrying I'm going to do the I'm going to do I'm going to probably title it two things so you guys could know that that's the video that I'm going to be talking to you guys about my TTC um decisions what am I going to be doing what am I going to be taking am I going to be temp temping right now I'm not going to be trying to TTC, so not right now, not until four months passes. So I, originally my plan was to lose weight, to focus on losing weight for three full months, and then um, once I lost that weight, start TTCing right away because it's what my, my doctor and I have decided to do. Uh, but we decided to, um, this being me, and on uh, my next appointment, I'm going to talk to the doctor about this because he wanted me to TTC but not right away he wanted me to hold on first do my treatment we already know what we're gonna do for my next pregnancy if I end up pregnant I'm gonna start taking obviously I'm gonna take some I'm gonna do something obviously we already know we already have the place where we're, we're gonna take the medication that I'm gonna be doing because he's sure that what I, what's wrong with me is a hormonal imbalance um, it is not my my weight gain it's nothing like that you know, which people were saying, and they're st stupid. It's nothing to do with my weight gain. It's nothing to do with none of that. It's um, a hormonal imbalance that I have. And um, he's not quite sure yet because they cannot do tests. If you guys have miscarried, if you guys know, you guys know that people cannot, the, the doctors are not willing to do tests on you until you have your third miscarriage. And that sucks because who the heck wants to go to a through, like, a third one? You know, not me, but... If it was to happen, at least I would know what's going on with me, what's happening. Um, but that's a whole other story. I think I'm going to let you guys go now because it's already 21 minutes and 22 seconds, which I'm probably going to edit some of this out. But um, if it's not, it's a long video already. Hope you guys enjoy my video, you guys. And um, Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, I forgot to tell you guys, I know I don't have my YouTube right now um, on the computer, but... I think that I passed my 100 subscribers and I told you guys that I was going to do a, a giveaway and I am going to be doing that soon. I will, I will be talking to you guys about that giveaway when I do my husband and wife tag. Uh, I'm going to do I'm gonna do it after this video. I'm going to do three videos today. I'm going to do this one, another one, and a husband and wife tag because I want to I wanna, um, give you guys something to see from me, you know, give you guys um, some videos of me. This year, I'm going to start showing my face more often. I'm not going to be blogging every day because that's for me, that's too much. That's like, I can't do that. If I could really blog like once a month, I'm I'm just not going to do that. Um, but I I don't know. You never know. Maybe one day I decide to blog like every day. Or maybe one day I just decide to take my camera wherever I go to the store. Which I did do that. But my camera, like I said, my camera is not working. It's just being stupid. So yeah. Um that's it for now you guys um stay tuned for my next video uh my next two videos which is gonna be my husband and and, and wife tag and i hope you guys enjoy that one i'm gonna force my husband to do this with me um he, he had done it before we do, we did it in the car but like i said yes my camera my phone messed up so i can't do that um but we're gonna do it right here right now and also um um watch um what is it? Oh, my um, <clears throat> negativity about miscarriage. Um, and what am I going to do next? What am, what's my plan? What's, what's, um, I'm going to get on birth control, you guys. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about, about, about that in my next video, too. And about the negativity of miscarrying. And, yeah, that's my life right now, you guys. Right now, I'm still going through my miscarriage. It's been three months. Wait. 
been four months since my miscarriage and I'm still going through it right now. But I am, I know, I know, I know that God is going to protect me and I know that God is protecting me. And I know that, um, you know, everything's going to be okay. I'm going to be strong. I'm not going to be scared. I'm still going to go and try to get pregnant. I'm not going to give up. So those of, those of you guys that are watching my videos and, you know, um, hate the fact that I'm going to try to get pregnant, oh well. I don't care. You know, that's my life. I decide what I want to, not you. It's my life. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get pregnant again. If whatever happens, it happens. I'm going to, I'm still going to stay strong and I'm still going to fight for me being a mother, you know. So, you know, if you guys are going through the same thing, welcome to my, to our journey, you know. And um, you guys are going to be seeing more of this, more of me marking my calendars. But you guys are going to be seeing more of this when I start TTCing. So in very much April, May, in May. May no wait in April in April I think or May I don't know somewhere like around those times I'm gonna start to seeing but for now you guys are gonna be seeing vlogs of what I'm gonna be eating of what I'm gonna be um when I'm gonna be working out you guys are gonna be seeing pictures of me um how I look um before after blah 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 I'm gonna be doing the whole shenanigans the whole thing the whole um journey on my weight loss journey and um, my my medicine, my medication, everything that I'm going to be prescribed, I'm going to be showing that to you guys. And yeah, um, stay positive, girls. If you guys are going through crazy things like this, stay positive. I know there's a lot of ladies going through this. I know there's a, lady, a lot of ladies that went through it. And, you know, they're pregnant now. They're, ha they're having their babies. I know a lot of Facebook girls a lot of youtube girls that i follow and a lot of instagram girls that are posting pictures of her and their uh, of their baby and, and them and i'm just happy for them because man i know that it took them i know it was a journey to get there and that's we're gonna be there soon so be happy for each other you guys we gotta support each other i know that i don't really have a lot of love on facebook i mean i do but not quite much as i one want to and that's my fault because i don't really interact with you guys but i'm gonna start doing that you know and um hope to see you guys soon talk talk to you guys about my my um giveaway if you guys have ha any any suggestions on what should i give away to you guys what should i you know do whatever give you guys um let me know um participate on my participate on my videos give them a thumbs up um if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you guys recently subscribed, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching me. You guys don't have to do that. And you guys still take the time to do that. Uh, if you guys have videos, um, things that you guys want me to check out, please post them down on, on link them. Give me video posts, you know. Um, let me know. And I'll, I will be checking. I'm always watching Facebook videos, you guys. And that's like... That's a fact, and I have my favorite YouTube um, moms, my favorite YouTube non-moms, you know, blog stuff, etc. You know, um, I'm recently helping my niece. She's doing a YouTube, um, she's YouTube, doing her YouTube channel, and she's barely starting. So I'm going to go ahead and do a video with her right now, too. So I guess that's five videos that I'm going to be doing. And yeah, Whew. I had to talk fast, you guys, because I need to finish this. And I'm, my goal is to at least try to keep it in 30 minutes. I know that's long. My next videos, they're going to be super, not this long. At least 16, 14 minutes long. Sorry, you guys. I'll sorry. Um, I am extremely sorry. But, hey, at least I'm doing a video now. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys had the best New Year's ever. I know I did. I'd, I had so much fun on New Year's. It was fun. It was a new experience. And, yeah. So I'll see you guys around. I'll see you guys in my next video, you guys. Um, participate. Remember, participate. If you want to be um, a guaranteed winner on my on my, on my my giveaway and stuff like that, participate. Um, congrats to all the new mommies. All of you guys, I love watching you guys. I love seeing your guys' journey on Instagram, on Facebook. If you guys want to follow me, I have my links right there somewhere the, down there on my Facebook, on my YouTube page, and go ahead and follow me. I'm barely getting into Twitter. I've been having it, but I really haven't used it. I'm gonna start doing all that stuff. Okay, you guys. So, um, bye. Have a good day. Enjoy. It was nice talking to you guys. Bye.
Where your streams of abundance flow Blessed be your name